The Bill 2's interacting shaped charge warheads are dynamically compensated to optimize their effect on both today's and future MBTs equipped with supplementary armor. The high lethality of the Bill 2 system when combating MBTs is based on the overfly top attack technology. The forward charge neutralizes the add-on armor. Then the rear main charge strikes down through the roof at 90 degrees, devastating the target with residual effect. This is the basic firing mode. The Bill 2 system can also be switched to position 2, the non-armored target mode for impact function. With the firing mode switch in position 3, the Bill 2 can be used against soft targets. The soft target mode can also be adapted to customer-defined requirements to meet future threat scenarios. This is a 40 mm shaped charge warhead. It's used in many horizontal attacking, tandem warhead equipped anti-tank systems, both existing systems and systems under development, as a precursor to the main charge. The penetration capability of such a 40 mm precursor will be shown in a static firing against a stack of armor plates. The standoff distance is 500 millimeters. The result, the 40 millimeter shape charge penetrated 240 millimeters into the armor plates. As a reference for the coming firings with the Bill 2's warheads, another 40 millimeter shape charge precursor is used against an armor stack with an add-on ERA tile. This target represents the front armor of a T-80 MBT. Standoff distance, 500 millimeters. The ERA tile was not detonated by the 40 millimeter precursor. Instead, the explosives inside the ERA started to burn. This shows that a horizontal attacking anti-tank system using a tandem warhead with a 40 millimeter precursor does not have enough energy to neutralize the integrated ERA. Now a complete Bill 2 warhead arrangement with its forward and rear charges. It will be fired from a specially developed test range gun using compressed air for the launch. The target a heavy ERA tile attached to a 50 millimeter armor plate and 500 millimeters below four 2 millimeter duraluminum witness plates. This target represents the turret roof of a modern MBT. The Bill 2 standoff is 1.4 meters. The ERA left its footprint on the armor plate. It was initiated by the Bill 2's forward warhead. Then the rear warhead completely penetrated the armor plate. The devastating residual effect can be seen in the four witness plates. The next dynamic Bill 2 firing, now using only the rear main charge at a standoff of 0.7 meter. The target arrangement is the same as in the previous firing. The ERA has been detonated and neutralized and the 50 millimeter armor plate penetrated. The effect in the witness plates shows that the Bill 2 main charge alone is capable of striking through an advanced MBT turret protected by ERA. The maximum penetration capability of the Bill 2's main charge is classified, but to show some of its capacity, the next Bill 2 firing is against a stack of 17 30 mm rolled homogeneous armor plates having a total thickness of 510 mm. The standoff distance is 0.9 meter. <laughs> The result speaks for itself. Complete penetration of all 17 armor plates. This is a T-72 MBT in protected observation position behind a ridge. The exposed area is minimal, making this tank more or less impossible to defeat with conventional horizontal attacking systems. 
but not with the Bofors Bill II missile, as will be shown in a live firing. In this freeze frame, the Bill 2's shape charged jet has passed through the target and into the ground. The rear part of the commander's hatch is hit by both warheads. The interior is destroyed by heat, overpressure and fragments. <laughs> 